Hello, how's it going everyone? This is Kiko and today we are going to be making a video that I am pretty excited about. So a couple weeks ago, I went to Mexico to go visit some family and while I was walking down the middle of a Mexican marketplace, I came across these packs right here. Now, when I saw them, you know, obviously they caught my eye and I decided to buy them and I only paid about, you know, for these right here, like about 50 cents a piece per pack. And then the boxes over here, these were about, I wanna say about a dollar, two dollars per box. I mean, they weren't that expensive, man. I think for everything I ended up paying like less than five bucks so it wasn't that expensive and obviously they are fake they are bootlegged you know got them in the middle of mexico man so obviously they're fake but it is interesting to kind of like you know pick one up and kind of find out what's inside of these how do they look like how fake do they look and you know maybe like how different the cards are right so i got some dragon ball z packs and boxes and i got some pokemon packs over here and some Yu Gi Oh packs and obviously the Pokemon ones, they look kind of funky. Like why is it like the pop Pikachu, the pop, you know, Charmander and stuff? And why does it say pop, you know? So that's kind of interesting. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. And I'm going to make this into two parts. Today, I am going to be opening the Pokemon packs and the Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And then in another video, I'll open up the Dragon Ball Z packs. See, these are the Dragon Ball Z ones. And there's the boxes. So these we'll do for the other video, but for today, we're gonna be doing the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh packs. All right, so let's start off with, let's start off with Charmander. Now I just kinda wanna show you guys something. All right, so here's the Charmander pack. You know, it's the Pop Charmander, Pop Games. Um, it's already kind of ripped on the top, but I want you guys to look at the back with me right here. I found this kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, you know, right here says Michael Card Home. Okay, so the text. In land accessible to the rest of the world, the premier dueling high school duel academy educates promising young duelists to their full potential. However, little does the school realize that things are about to change with the arrival of the greatest duelist of all time, Charmander. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so this is obviously from like Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. All right, so let's open this guy up, man. I'm really interested to find out what's inside. Like, I, I've been curious. I, I haven't opened these up. Like, I got these a couple weeks ago, and I've just had them sitting there. And, you know, I've just been curious for weeks now. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to open them, make the video, and just get it, get it over with already. All right. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice little holographic charmeleon. Okay, so he has his defense and his attack right here in Spanish. Yeah, pop. It's sticking with the pop theme. I thought it was going to be different. Got Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Pikachu. So I guess it's like the pop trading card game. Have you guys ever heard of that? Because I haven't. All right, we got Charmander. Charmillion, my bad. Chespin. The back is the same. Chespin, also shiny. Hyperior, also shiny. Spinarak. Fraligator. Plusso. Jirachi. And Oshawa. So I guess that's what to expect with these cards or with these packs. This is what you're expected to get. Which I mean, I guess they're pretty cool. I mean, for, you know, like uh, for little kids in Mexico to play, you know. All right, let's open up the next one. Same thing with the Dueling Academy. Pikachu. So I guess the only Pokemon I would really want from these packs is a uh, Chikorita. You know, Chikorita is my favorite Pokemon and I would really love a Chikorita. I would keep the Chikorita. These right here, I don't know what I would do with these cards. Oof, that's what I like to see, man. Gyarados, let's go. Yeah, boy. That's from Pokemon Go, Meow. The, the image. Fennekin. Man, these cards don't look that bad to be honest, and they don't feel bad either. Like, kind of impressed, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. You know, that's in Spanish right there. Dratini. Kind of makes me want to collect them all now. Torda. Minum. To go with the puzzle I have. Next up, we got the Mewtwo pack. Da -da -da, boy, let's go. My champ, looking like a badass, man. Oof. Pikachu, the one you want. Probably keep that one. Gliscor. I don't do. 
Dude, honestly, these cards don't look that bad. Like, these are really well made. Unless, like, there was, like, unless there was, like, an actual pop trading card game out there that I don't know about from, like, some random country that's not Mexico and Mexico, like, copied them. Like, maybe, maybe somewhere in Europe, they made, like, a legit pop card game and Mexico, like, copied them. I don't know, man. This is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. These cards are pretty nice. Like, I thought they would look, like, a lot more fake. Huh. All right, the final pack. We got Bulbasaur again with the same, the Michael Card game and the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duo Academy. <laughs> Dude, just give me the Chikorita and we'll be good. It'll be worth my 50 or five bucks to spend on everything. Who plays again? You can't complain about that guy. Suicune, can't complain either. I wanna see like, all right, so Suicune's attack right here is 97, no, it's 10,000, that's his attack for a legendary. Ivysaur is 9,900, so pretty much what it's saying is that Suicune is not that much stronger than Ivysaur, and like, they're only off by like 100 points, which doesn't make sense because Suicune should be a lot stronger. See, then Mewtwo right here. Mewtwo is 9,800 attack and Ivysaur is 9,900 attack, so, so Ivysaur is stronger than Mewtwo in this case. That doesn't make any sense, man. And we got the Shadow Mewtwo, pretty badass. Can't complain about that. That's a nice looking image. Pichu. <laughs> and then we got the Pop Bulbasaur with the funky eyes. I don't understand why that has like the funky pop eyes and then the other cards don't. So there you go, man. Those were my pop cards. I honestly did not expect these cards. I thought they were gonna be like other fake Pokemon cards and they just picked up like the like the pop logo for some reason and threw it on a pack. But I was actually surprised that it like continued with like the pop theme and then obviously it had like a pop image. And yeah, the quality of these cards, you know, they're pretty nice. Fun for little Mexican kids to play. I mean, I, I wanna know how to figure out the game because you know, these powers are all like off. But yeah, not bad, I guess. I didn't get my Chikorita, kind of sad about that. But whatever, man. I didn't pay that much for them anyway. All right, now let's look at the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now these should actually be Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, uh, well, fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but like actual Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They shouldn't be like anything funky, I don't think. But if it is, we'll find out here in a sec. The bag doesn't really have anything interesting. It just kind of talks about Duelist, Armored, Discover the Secrets of the Five Dragons, blah, 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 Yu-Gi-Oh, Zexo. And obviously this is not Yu-Gi-Oh, Zexo. This is Yu-Gi-Oh, Arc V. But yeah, let's open these guys up. See what we get. See what we get, man. See what we get. Yeah, just as I thought, you know, just regular Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So we got this little performable like swordsman. And you can see like that shiny is the same. The same shiny holographic as like the, the pop Pokemon cards. So they obviously used the same cardboard to print it on. Perform up for Life Swordsman, cool. Fairy Tail Snow, cool. I don't know these cards, man, because I only like played like the old school Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day. So these new cards, yeah, I don't recognize any of these monsters. Proxy Dragon. And this thing right here, this Pendulum Yu-Gi-Oh monster, man, I have no idea how Pendulum monsters work. That is way too new for me. Yeah, I only play like the old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Trimand Cruiser, another Pendulum monster, Dragodies. Red Mirror. Action Magician. So there you go. Fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, there's the back. The logo is kind of funky. V-Reigns, oh, that's kind of funny because it says V-Reigns on the back, but then on the pack you have Arc V, and then on the back of the pack you have Zexo. So it's all kinds of fuck fudged up, is what I meant to say, fudged up. <laughs> all right, the last Yu-Gi-Oh pack, man. Is it gonna be the exact same thing? Of course it is, but we gotta get it. We gotta get it, man. <laughs> all right, we got Avid. I've had turn buying Saru Tahiko. Ooh, that's a good looking card. Ooh, I doubled up. I doubled up. Guy, Gaia Saber of the Video Night. Nice looking card. These are all like blue cards or uh, ritual monsters. Mink Bumper. Uh, what's it called? Uh, pendulum Monster, Odd Eyes, Toon, Pendulum Dragon. Never heard of that card, but it looks cool. This guy right here with the big ass sword. Another Pendulum Monster. Metal Foes and Palazoic. All right, man, there you have it. Some fake Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And yeah, like nothing too exciting, right? Just uh, something interesting to look at. This is how fake cards look like. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut one of these guys open to kind of show you like what's uh, how 
Because I don't think these are like stickers or anything. Hold up, give me a sec. I thought it was gonna be more like a sticker, which I guess it kind of is. Yeah, it's kind of hard to rip. Yeah, man, nothing too exciting, man. Just, just uh, you know, some fake cards. Um, but I do want to know, like, would you guys be interested in, I mean, I know they're fake, but would you be interested, like, in collecting these type of cards, even though they're fake? Because from what I've seen, there isn't an actual such thing as Pokemon Pop cards. Like, those don't exist. They only exist, like, in the deep corners of, like, the bootlegged market in Mexico. So, I mean, would you, like, like to collect these type of cards? Or is it just kind of something you're not really interested in? You know, let me know. Because I don't really know what to do with these. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll, like, throw them away or give them away. I have no idea, man. They're pretty cool i mean but not like for me to like keep or anything like that i'll probably keep like a couple of them just for for memories you know so anyway that's how that looks like let me know your guys' thoughts and you know let me know if you want to see more videos like this and of course stay tuned for the next video because in the next video i'm going to be opening up the dragon ball z ones and you know there's two dragon ball z boxes and i'm really curious to see what's inside these two boxes but yeah that's what's in the next video so you know check that out and yeah let me know what your guys' thoughts are drop a comment drop a like and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace out peace peace